Online class for kids. Let's grow and learn here at Online Class for Kids. Our Earth is an awesome planet. It is the only planet in the universe which is known to sustain life. Here, we can breathe, eat, live, and have fun. It is big enough that it would be impossible to explore every corner of the planet in our lifetime. In space, however, Earth is just another planet out in the vast expanse of space. In the vastness of space, we would be living in a small neighborhood we call the Solar System. Let's explore it today! Here's a question. Do you know why it is called the Solar System? Hmm, well, it's because the Sun used to be called Sol. And anything related to the Sun would be solar. Everything in the solar system is bound to the gravity of the Sun. In the solar system, we have one star, eight planets, five dwarf planets, countless moons, and more than a million asteroids. The sun is actually really big because we are really far from it. It looks small in our sky. You can fit roughly 1.3 million Earths in the sun. It is that big. It also provides all the light and heat in the system. If it suddenly disappeared, everyone would probably freeze in a matter of weeks. And everywhere, we look would be pitch dark. Next to the sun is the closest planet to it, Mercury. A year in Mercury only lasts 88 days because it revolves around the sun very quickly. Mercury has no atmosphere. So, temperatures get extremely hot on one side and extremely cold on the other. After Mercury comes Venus. Despite being farther from the sun than Mercury, it is the hottest planet on the solar system. That's because Venus' atmosphere is composed mainly of carbon dioxide, which traps the heat from the sun. Let's travel to the next planet. After Venus comes Earth, our home planet. As far as we know, Earth is the only planet to have living beings. The temperature is not too hot and not too cold. A breathable atmosphere, the perfect conditions for us to live. Next comes Mars. The red planet. Its reddish color comes from the abundance of a rust-like material called iron oxide. Scientists have sent robots to Mars to collect data. 
So what comes next after Mars? Here comes Jupiter, the gas giant. It is the largest planet in our solar system. It is made of almost entirely hydrogen and helium. So, you wouldn't be able to find ground to land on. Jupiter has also dozens of moons. Ganymede, one of its many moons, is larger than Mercury. It also has the shortest days of all planets, only lasting 9 hours and 55 minutes. Another gas giant after Jupiter is Saturn. It is famous for its rings. The rings are composed of countless ice particles, rocks, and dust. Like Jupiter, it also has dozens of moons. The third of the gas giants is Uranus, sporting a beautiful bright blue-green color. It has the coldest recorded temperature in the solar system. Out of all the planets, it takes 84 years for it to revolve around the sun. The last of the gas giants is Neptune, also the eighth planet in the solar system. It has a darker shade of blue than Uranus, but it can get just as cold as Uranus. Aside from the eight planets, there are also the five dwarf planets, which are celestial bodies that resemble small planets, but lacking in certain criteria, which is why they aren't considered planets. Well, that's it. I hope you had a wonderful time learning about our solar system. See you next time for another fun-filled learning only here at Online Class for Kids. Visit onlineclassforkids.com for more fun learning videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.